what's up guys welcome back to my channel today's video i'll be showing you guys how to design this simple church event flyer with pixel app all right so to support this video please give this video a thumbs up so that it perform well on youtube youtube can recommend it to more people all right without wasting your time let's get started so i'm going to take a new page in pixel app i'm using pixel app pro so i'm going to take a new page like this start it from scratch and i'll go to my background and I go to from gallery the background for this design is going to be this lion so I'm going to import it so I won't even bother much about setting my design or uh, my design image size so I'm just going to use this default size you see it has changed the, the height is now longer the way it's not the same like uh, the original default size all right so the next thing is I'm going to import a shape I'm going to import a shape and then I'm going to give this shape a color this is the color if you want the color details I can give you the color code here you can use the color this is the color code so if you don't know how to use color code you need to check my previous video on five ways to manipulate colors in pixel app so that's the color I'm going to be adding to the shape all right so I'm going to reduce the opacity of this color just like a little like this all right i'm going to go i can i'll lock it up but the next thing is i'm going to my uh, i'm going to go to this button over here to work on my background so i'm going to go to vintage i'll turn it on and i will reduce it to about very small to maybe 60. I go to brightness and I'm going to reduce it minus 100 okay all right so the fonts we're going to be using here is uh, Montserrat so we're playing a lot of Montserrat fonts so I'm going to start with uh, let's start by, by, by writing our letters so start with letter O and we're going to change the font to Montserrat Black. There are lots of Montserrat fonts. So this is the one I'm using, Montserrat Black. If I go to my font and I search Montserrat, you see there are lots of Montserrat fonts here. It's a whole family font, okay? So I'm using, I'll be using Montserrat Black. This one here. Okay, so that's the one, that's the one I'm using. All right, then I'm going to add the size up. Put the size to about one. Let's say one one eighty, one eighty five. So that is. Uh, we're going to start with that. Now I'm going to copy this. And the next one is uh, letter N. Now edit it with letter N. Then I'm going to apply some editing here. I'm going to turn on the shadow, blur the shadow, and I'm going to give the shadow color to be black. Okay. So I'm going to put this on this the shadow. Give the shadow color to be black. All right. And then you blur it. So you see the effect. The shadow the n has a shadow effect on the o something like that all right then i'm going to copy this n and edit it to an e all the editing that we've done you're just going to apply to it okay so don't bother much all right now i want to centralize this n in the middle like that beautiful and then this one i'm going to control this one this one like that okay yeah so if you're not comfortable with your shadow of course you can always go and correct it but i think i love my shadow like that my shadow looks cool right yeah i love my shadow like that that's cool okay one the next thing we need a shape i'm going to put in my shape i'll give it a color you can apply your color before you even use it like you just edit your shape at once so the next thing is this shape here. 
so we make a beautiful shape like that and then you send it to the back not completely remember we added a shape here like that okay and then you adjust it like that all right one hour width okay so we're going to have the next we're still going to use the monster right from the same monster right black so we're going to write our width or you can even copy one of these letters here but you're going to have to remove the, the the shadow effect okay so let's go so i'll just edit this one go to my recent fonts monster right black so i'm going to correct this like this perfect one hour width then the next we're going to use these other letters these ones that we've done here to write the next layer which is uh, going to i'll start with this one you can copy n i'll give you the right color which is going to be this yellow okay and then i edit it to g All right, and I'm going to increase the size to like 240. If I'm not wrong, we are like 240. Okay. Perfect, like that. Okay, now I'm just going to copy, I'll copy this one and spell the rest of the letters. So. Remember, we took these letters from here, from these ones, with the editing already applied, the shadow and everything. So I'm just going to, this is letter O, copy this one, and this is letter G, letter D, sorry. One hour we got. Beautiful, beautiful, like that. Okay, guys, so next thing we need to write, we have a... Uh, the time every Wednesdays every Wednesdays every Wednesdays okay now and the fonts we're going to be using for this is also a Montserrat font but not the Montserrat bold we're going to be using Montserrat medium for this Montserrat medium okay so we're going to use this every Wednesday like that make it beautiful like that and put it in the middle good every Wednesdays all oh, this should be capitalized make sure this is capitalized and the next is the time write the time time So I can say oh seven PM seven PM West African time. All right, and place it here. Okay, guys. Uh, so we have to change this font as well. It's going to use. Uh, we will use. Montserrat medium as well. I'm going to reduce the size. Place it. Always try to always make sure your, your work is centralized. I always centralize it here. Put it in the middle. So this one is not in the middle. Perfect. Like that. Okay. And the next thing we need to write is mask up. So I'm going to be using two fonts. I'll be using the Montserrat medium. So I can copy this one. All right. Mask. The color for this is yellow. So let me just give the color at once. The color for this is yellow. And let's move it to the right position. Mask up. And then I'm going to be using, going to write up. And I'll use Monserrat. 
Monserrate black. And then I'll bring it down. Okay. Position it right and to put the exclamation sign. Okay, and you give it the proper color as well. Mask up. So done with that. The next we have for more information, so you have to give her, I'm going to be using this font to write that. For more information, so the same font for every Wednesday, I will just write for more info. More info call plus two three seven one two three four five six seven eight nine so this is not actually this is not a real number so i'm just making this up and now capitalize everything it should be capital letters okay beautiful beautiful okay and then uh, we'll make it work and you also centralize this like that all right guys so we're almost done now if you look at the design there's another the, the one this one right up it's, it's around here transparent very very transparent all right so we're going to try to make that one so to make that one you're going to copy these letters copy them and merge them together or you can merge them as this and send it to the back all right so let me just go to i want to copy them instead i don't want to merge i want to copy before i merge okay so i'll copy this n copy the o and i want to place them right as well so this one should be behind this one the O is on top of the N and then the E comes on top so the shadow effect needs to apply like that alright guys now I'm going to merge these three one two three merge I have them now and I'm going to so I have them all merged together now I'm going to make reduce the opacity let's go to opacity and reduce it like that okay so we can have that effect all right so we can have that effect you're going to reduce your opacity yeah to so maybe five amazing all right so the fly is almost done what is left is just for you to put your church logo if you have one you can put one okay so i really i really don't have one don't have a church logo so i'll just import the one i, I just made simply for this exercise oh this is not i'm just going to import it and just try to put it there but the exercise is like done so this is now this is something that will be left for you to do it so assuming this is my church logo and my church name is uh, I'm going to use live ministries limited uh, this is a very stupid church name I hope it makes sense life ministries something like that now let me just say life ministries okay it's a ministry okay life ministry international i think there are some churches that sound like that some some ministries so we just put it like that okay guys so and i'll use the Montserrat black
place it right position my elements right Now the next thing is the lines, we need to insert the lines. So to put the lines, you need a shape, put in a shape, a square, then you use it for your lines, like that. It might be a little tricky, but it's not, it's not that tricky. Okay, you guys, you just need to manipulate your shapes properly. Like that. You see, the line is kind of thick though, but it's okay. All right, so that's it. So you push this one up a little bit, this one up a little bit, okay? Life Ministries International. So I'm going to write Home of Life or Home of Hope, just like a slogan House of Hope, House of Glory, just anything. As you mean, this is my church slogan, right? And I'm going to take uh, Montserrat Light Italic to write this one. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to reduce the size. Control it. To the right spot. Okay, so there, there are two lines, so I'm going to highlight this one and I copy it. I use my control button to my position button to control it to the right position. So this other line is smaller, yeah, shorter. Sorry, other line is short, and the alignment too has to be straight. Wow, it's tricky. One more. That will be okay. Oh my God, still not balanced. All right. One more. So here's the thing with designing, guys. It needs patience. Perfect, now that's it, we have our lines together. Now you just bring them close. Like that, all right guys, so. Now you can choose to, if uh, like the lion, you can go back to it. Try to make it a little bit visible, like you go to your first shape that you added on top of it and you can like, Reduce the opacity more of the first shape if you want your line to be visible. You understand? So you have to just play with the opacity here. Like I think 85 is good because the lion is part of the background. It needs to be seen at least a little. All right, guys. So that's all for the tutorial. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.